Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, our name is Gretchen Olivia. And today we are going to be talking about the seed of light. Our body's innate wisdom. It's literally from about your heart to a little bit above your navel center. We literally have this seed of light that contains all of our blueprints, all of our knowledge and wisdom, all of our DNA and information because not only do we physically have DNA that scientists can look at in the lab in their laboratories, but we also have this energetic DNA, this imprint of everything. You know, when you look at the seed, when you look at a seed, it literally contains all the blueprints and all the knowledge for that plant, for that um, animal to be born, to grow and evolve. We have this within ourselves. This is our eternal God spark that connects us to the all, that connects us to everything. And you've seen, I've shown this painting before that we did. This is literally this inner God spark that is within us, this piece of God this piece of our eternal soul. And as we tune more into our heart, we realize and we feel that oneness. We feel that we're not separate from the all. We are the all. We have the universe inside of us. So how do we crack open this seed? For many beings, and I talked about this in the transmuting black magic video if you haven't seen it for many beings this seed is literally covered in black like black tar it's been tried to be tampered with when the anunnaki and those beings were shutting down different strands of our dna and doing things like that they very much worked more in the physical they can't they can't touch this they can try to um, they can try to, um, to, um, mask the frequency. They can implement fear. They can implement trauma for many people. Like I see in sessions, this is literally wrapped in like a black webbing. I literally did a session on someone years ago whose their seed of light was upside down and it was black. So they, you know, going through trauma in different lifetimes, having different soul contracts with malevolent beings, we can have these um, outside interference, but inside, as we learn to open our hearts and come into this balanced healed whole, remembering this healed whole place within us, we unlock this seed of light. And very much what begins to happen in we're working with the chakra column, we literally, we're the seed of light within our heart, we literally begin by, you know, unlocking that chakra column of light. I don't know if that marker is not really showing up. We'll try a different marker. Um, <laughs> I mean, these are a little dried out, I guess. Um, it is this opening of our column of light. We begin to really focus on our chakras. We begin to really open that up and come into a deeper balance. Oh, hi, Miss Chloe. She's really interested in my markers for whatever reason. But we begin to expand vertically. That crystal begins to come unlocked. And it's very much like um, if you've seen the movie Da Vinci Code and they have that the cryptic. It's very much this process of getting that into alignment so you're opening that seed even more. We cannot just open the seed of light. It's about removing the trauma, removing the programming, removing the fear-placed imprints of trauma and clearing that and opening that. And this is very much you know, about opening that higher heart, opening your heart, coming into balance in the lower chakras and the upper chakras, because this is not going to fully unlock. Our deepest memories are not going to fully unlock until that lower chakras are balanced and the upper chakras are balanced. And then we continue on this deepening journey of awakening and tuning deeper into our 
heart, our seed of light, our blueprint that contains all. And we can all access this. We all have the ability to access this. This, um, and it is a journey. It is a process to really deepen one's own awareness of ourselves. And then as we go up and down, it becomes this vertical or horizontal um, energy of really expanding our heart as we bring the masculine and feminine energies into balance. That's another thing, a corrupted program of what they did is they really, you know, they, they tried to reverse our seeds of light. They tried to, you know, it's, it's mostly, it's like muck and stuff on top of the seed of light. And this journey of ascension, of raising our frequency, raising our light quotient, as we raise our light quotient, we expand. And then as we go along our journey, we begin to expand even more this way and this way until we become this beautiful lotus flower, this heart expansioning. Um, with some, some people, uh, you know, there's these different coatings on top of these crystals of just of trauma and past lifetimes and this past gunk that's just never been processed or never been allowed to process. You know, we've been in this really intense karmic wheel here on earth and, you know, not giving this time and this energy to really transmute any trauma we go through. We just bring it back into another life. You know, a lot of times if someone has like a really tragic death, and they, you know, let's say they were a man and they had this really tragic death in, in war or something like that. And they decide, okay, I'm going to come right back in. And they come right back in, not, tra not you know, processing anything. They come back in in a woman's body. And they're carrying all this trauma of being, of, of their death and this unhealed wounds of masculine energy. And they very much, they're, they're female in their body but maybe they feel like they're male like it's you know because of these intense trauma loops we've really it's it's really brought a lot of us out of balance and that is how you truly open this seed of light this is how you truly open your heart and expand and really tune into that innate wisdom that is within you. There's a big disconnect between our bodies and this seed of light because of the trauma we experience with the DNA shutting down and because so many of us bring in these higher frequencies. You know, we very much bring in these triple solar goddess death, rebirth, life, that is our highest consciousness, highest light that we connect with, Ave Be, or Ave Be. We very much, you know, create our energies, frequencies flowing through us. And that's what we're here to embody and bring, bring here to the earth. That's why we came, <laughs> decided to come back into this body. And it's, knowing and understanding that we very much came here to be these physical beings experiencing the spiritual experiencing the physical because that's what we're here to do we're here to bring heaven to earth we're literally here to bring heaven to earth heaven as in our masculine energies earth as in our feminine energies uniting them together within our heart expanding and what i've noticed the past couple years is how much more i struggle with grounding to the earth because of all the changes because of everything that's happening in the collective consciousness it can be very difficult and with all the trauma that we experienced in this physical body to actually get into the physical body i know a lot of healers that like and I have a lot of people who are literally, they're not in their body. They're, 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 they're like up here. They're not even in their body. And being in our body, our body is this incredible machine. It's this incredible, intelligent machine 
that as we clear the gunk away, as we transmute and release the trauma, as we release the pain, as we release our ancestors' wounds, as we choose to not operate from our ancestral programming, and we decide to really come into our light and expand, it is this process of really coming into our body. And it's this place that for many of us uh, who really bring in these higher consciousness energies, it can be very difficult to merge those two together, the physical and the spiritual, the heaven and the earth. But this is what we came for. This is what we came for, to have a very physical experience, but still have that spiritual experience. We used to have that in times of Atlantis, in Lumeria, and many other civilizations that I really don't think get enough credit. Everything goes to like the Atlantis and Lumeria times, but we can get into that a whole other video. <laughs> um, many of us, you know, we've already ascended. We already we already experience what it is to be physical and spiritual together, to really bring these higher consciousness into the physical. That's what we wanted to experience. We wanted to experience separation here on Earth. For many of us, and on many different star systems and planets, it's, it, it's unity consciousness. And that's what we're used to. We're used to, you know, having that experience of the spiritual and the physical we're we're very much used to that's existing as one masculine and feminine energy existing as one and that is what um this seed of light within us is is all about accessing accessing our gifts accessing our sacred knowledge and wisdom awakening to that deeper truth that is within each one of us and there's so many things we can do to support ourselves, uh, to really combine that, the spiritual and the physical, the masculine and the feminine. And that's, you know, meditation, breath work, grounding practices, all these different things. But what I have noticed in the past couple of years is how much help I need in grounding and being here in the physical. You know, we can, you know, go to the chiropractor, go to acupuncture, do yoga, do tai chi, qigong, all of these methods. And sometimes we can still not feel grounded or in our bodies. So we, with our team of earth, air, fire, and water dragons, we very much work with many different dragon beings but with our team of elementals we are creating and launching a course on february 22nd on 22224 we are launching this course to really help you support and tune into these elements i find that i ground better when i connect with water if i am just simply just like you know, I can't tell you how many times people have been like, just drop your grounding cord into the earth, picture your root chakra and ground that into the earth. And I don't feel grounded. I still feel anxious. I, I still feel out of my body. What I will literally do is I will tune into water and I will literally, I'll drop into my whale aspect <laughs> and I'll, I'll go into the water and as soon as I do that, I feel more grounded. But perhaps you feel more grounded with fire. Maybe you feel more grounded with air or earth. Maybe, yeah, dropping a grounding cord into the earth, you're like, yes, I feel more grounded. I feel more centered. For me, I connect with water. I connect with earth. When I connect with both of those, I feel centered. I feel back into my body. And this is exactly what we will be exploring in our course. We will be attuning and learning ancient songs of the dragons, of these elemental dragons. These will be very powerful activations and attunements to these elements within your body. We will be very much working with the seed of light, helping to clear our chakras and really help you access your heart and clarity within yourself even deeper because you are the guru that is that is the truth of this 
The guru is inside of you. All of the information that you seek, the clarity, the knowing, the, you know, what to trust, what not to trust, how to practice discernment. It, it's deepening this trust within yourself. You know, source is not outside of yourself. This is source within you. This is God that is within you, within your heart. We are all choosing to have these different experiences here on earth. We are choosing very much to be in this physical body. And yes, the crystalline structure is coming online within the earth, within our bodies. Because what is happening with the earth is happening with us. And this is very much allowing us to remember our galactic citizenship that we here on earth are not alone we have brothers and sisters in all different planets in all different universes and this is part of our journey of why we came back here right so if this course sounds interesting to you um please check out our website lotusfrequencyoracle.com you can meet our elemental dragons uh, we teamed up with an awesome artist, uh, Tanil, um, at Cosmic Resume on Instagram. She created these beautiful dragon portraits um, to really help activate and help us tune in even deeper. Our intention for this course is to really open a door for deeper healing and clarity and trust within your body. You know, we we all have this body elemental, this this body consciousness of this physical vessel. And it's about merging those two, the earthly with the physical, with our, the earthly physical with the spiritual coming together in this human body of blood and bone. This is this is the experience we came to have, this journey deepening into our hearts. So we will very much be connecting with our body elemental. And if you notice in our videos, a lot of times I am like doing this or I'll go like this. This is a yes. This is always confirming what I'm speaking. Because my, my body elemental, because of all the deep inner work that we've done, we've really allowed this deeper connection to my body and this deeper trust in the body, you know, uh, I'm like, I'm so excited about this course. We really hope to see you there. And sending you so much love and blessings. Namaste.